Um, hi, my name's Sam Small, I'm from Speculative Books and today we are chatting with our newest author, Chris McQueer, about the upcoming release of his new book, Leathered. It's probably like one of the stories I've written that's took me the longest length of time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, I felt as if I was writing it for fucking ages. <laughs> but uh, like, I really enjoyed writing it because it's one of the longest things I've ever written as well, so it's like, uh, just so good to like, it's normally I like, write stuff that's like, really short and stuff, like, like two or three pages long and it ends on like a punchline. Mm -hmm. And I always feel kind of under pressure of writing stuff like that because you're trying to, you're almost like trying too hard to be funny with stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So with Leathered I was like, right, this is like a big story, man, like this mm -hmm. won't be over three pages, man, this is like 40, 50 pages long, man, this thing's going to be. So um, yeah. I was just so good writing that and just having a laugh and just seeing where I could take different things and get right into the characters now. It probably took me in total about maybe three or four months yeah. to write it. Yeah, so, okay. uh, I just wanted to try something different and really like kind of push myself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of eventually, we writing kind of short stories end on punchlines. You kind of you start to run out of punchlines. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. like the guy dies at the end, or something happens. There's a big reveal. Do you know what I mean? You can only do that so many times before I start getting bored and never mind readers. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So there's been a um, murder. Aye, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Aye, things have changed quite a lot since obviously things came out last year. <laughs> Mental is the only word I can use to describe it. Yeah, as, yeah. Um, you know, doing wee spoken word gigs and stuff like, I mean, like that was really good at the start, and I really liked it. And then, yeah. so I get to do kind of like bigger spoken word events and stuff, like yeah. doing stuff at the Belgium Festival and that, like yeah, yeah. Um, just performing in front of loads of people, man. It's such a big jump. It's so good. Yeah. It has everything that's happened over the past year. Something has kind of changed the way I write and the kind of process I write because when I was writing things, I was just I was just writing for myself. There wasn't any pressure on me or anything. I was just mm -hmm. writing stuff, putting it online for my pals to read, and not really thinking anything else of it. Do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Um, you know, the 50 people read it, I was, I was on the moon, do you know what I mean? So, but now it's like, you know, I'm writing to a deadline for the first time ever with this book. Um, writing stuff for like a bigger audience, more people are going to read it than, mm -hmm. than read things on I hope. So, um, yeah. it's totally different, man. So there's a lot more pressure, like, I feel quite yeah. under pressure. I'm kind of struggled with it a wee bit, to be honest. Like, it's been good, like, it's kind of, it's forcing me to like, get better and like, write better and write better stories and mm -hmm. come up with better ideas. It's been really good that way, do you know what I mean? So, I was working like, uh, DW Sports, I, uh, so, uh, yeah. I was able to chuck that uh, just two days before Christmas there and it was a fucking amazing feeling, like, <laughs> two days before Christmas, like, fucking enjoy the Boxing Day sale, man, like, <laughs> she's later. I kind of miss it, do you know what I mean, like, yeah. being self-employed is good, but, like, I do miss that, the kind of, the structure and the routine that having a job, do you know what I mean, because I feel myself becoming a wee bit unhinged, do you know what I mean, I've got so much, like, free time, like, it's, like, just sitting writing and then it's, like, I knew about the day for the rest of the day, do you know what I mean, I've hurt my word count, now it's, like, fuck, man, I've got a whole day now to just sit and worry about shit, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of getting used to it now, it's good, yeah. it's good, man. <laughs> well, whether it came about for a daft conversation, I'm kind of pally with this guy, whose name's Frank, who works in a jail, <laughs> and, uh, right, okay. he's who it's based on. We were just talking about night, and he was talking about, kind of, political leaders, like, what ones, what ones do you think you could leather, basically? And he was like, ah, Kim Jong-un, I'd love to leather him, like, this was like, at the height when, like, Kim Jong-un was being, like, a proper prick, and he was, like, wanting to test nuclear weapons and stuff, and he was ready to just press the big red button, so, like, I just thought, like, imagine, like, how, how could he end up in a situation where he gets to fight Kim Jong-un, do you know what I mean? I thought, that'd be a good story, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just sat down to write it, and then before I knew it, like, I was like, right, just a kind of celebrity deathmatch, like, Frank versus Kim Jong-un in the hydro, that would be cool as fuck. And I'm like, right, how does that all happen? Like, what kicks it off and stuff? Cool, imagine this kind of uh, prison guard for Berlin is like a symbol of the resistance in Korea, do you know what I mean? I just liked that kind of, that image, I thought it was pure funny, and then, I just kind of played a bit with all my to fit it all together and I was, I was chuffed about how it turned out, man. We're going to launch Leathered, um, which is coming out on Spec Books um, on the 26th of May. You can pre-order uh, the book or you can buy a book and ticket to the, the launch night um, online specbooks.com.net. <laughs> We'll put a link at the bottom. Ah, okay, right. Yeah. Well, I've never read anything in a nightclub. I've never read any of my stories in a nightclub, so that's going to be cool, man. Especially in a soft club, but that's yeah, yeah. cool as fuck, man. That's amazing, man. This is like the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. So. <laughs> Can't wait, man, eh? Do you ever see yourself branching uh, outside of Glasgow? I don't know about, about branching outside of Glasgow because, like, I just I love writing about Glasgow. It's, it's my city and it's what I know. And just my stuff just kind of works in Glasgow, do you know what I mean? As kind of Glaswegian humour and stuff. I kind of feel like we're under pressure, like, kind of, if I want to be like, proper successful writing books, to kind of, kind of like, expand outside of Glasgow and kind of try and make stuff that's a wee bit more accessible for other people, do you know what I mean? Not just Glaswegians. I don't really want to, to be honest, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just like, just love writing about Glasgow, it's just yeah, it's so good, because it is such a weird, amazing place. Like, there's just so much material here that I, that I could write about. I could just solely write about Glasgow for the rest of my career and never run out of material, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just that kind of place, it's so good. So.
Cool. And uh, so yeah, finally, so um, after the uh, after the the gig on the twenty sixth, uh, what's uh, what's next for Chris McClure? Um After the gig on the twenty sixth, I'm just going in to get my arse in gear and just finish my next book. It's like the deadline is like fast approaching, man. <laughs> and I'm like, like every day I just fall a wee bit further behind. Aye, so it's just a case of getting that finished, man. So that's like taking up all my time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Fair good, enough. man. It's really good. Because when I was writing things, that was just, just writing that kind of in between shifts and stuff in my work. And then occasionally like, during my shift, if it was quiet. So like, it just all felt, it was all dead laid back and dead cool. And I was just enjoying it. You know, I could, I could take, you know, six, seven weeks to write the one story and it was fine. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, right, man, I need to get this finished. I need to finish this next mixed idea that I want and want to put in the book. So it's like, you're kind of writing one thing, then I own another, and you've got ideas formulating all the time. It's like, it's just my mind's just fucking oil the place, man. It's just like full of broken biscuits and like wee toy motors or something. It's just, <laughs> it's just mental. I'm, I'm moaning about it a lot, but like, I'm enjoying it as well. Do you know what I mean? It's been really fucking good. Uh, please join us at Sub Club on the 26th of May at seven o'clock for the launch of a leathered published by Speculative Books.